how's it going guys uh, today I want to do a little video on uh, how to connect your PSP to your TV now what you'll need is a, a cable they make a special cable for it and uh, Um, this is what the end will look like and uh, on the top of your your uh, well on the bottom of your system you'll see a uh, little port you just connect your uh, cable into your port Okay, and then you go to your settings, uh, scroll down to connected device settings, and then push your X button. It'll um, ask you to switch video output, what type of TV, uh, component or D terminal output it'll, it'll allow you to uh, change between progressive and interlace uh, you can also adjust your screen savers and stuff and your flicker reductions um, if you're running a TV that doesn't take um, uh, the 1080p well uh, you can switch it over to interlaced and uh, it looks really nice too okay we'll go to um, you switch your output which is the very first one on the uh, selection push X do you want to display video output on a connected device we'll click over to yes and we'll switch over to your uh, TV and uh, you'll switch your TV over to whatever video line that you have it hooked to I have mine on component 5 um, then this is the uh, what my PSP looks like on a big screen uh, we will uh, look over here at, uh, where I was telling you about your TV type and this will run into your aspect ratio where you can run a 16 by 9 or we can switch it over to a 4.3 which leaves a black area there in the uh, the middle and, and it doesn't um, doesn't have everything on the screen so I don't care for that type I'll run 16 by 9. Then I have, uh, still don't have everything on the screen. You got even less, uh, as you see, the information is down there. And um, there's no way to adjust it that I found. Um, you can also. Um, switch to your um, switch over to our memory stick and uh, this is running on a 2010 Polaroid uh, 325e plasma TV and uh, it looks great now you'll see a little bit of window framing on the um, uh, kind of like the old Game Boys will do you'll have uh, some edges on there Not that much of an edge, it'll, it'll get bigger than that.
and you can control your um, you can set it to control your volume uh, in your PS3 settings uh, where where you can uh, control it with your PSP All right. well guys um, I'll show you the, um, the setting over on the PS3 And uh, here's my gamer tag. If uh, anybody plays Defiance, uh, wants to uh, play Dust or uh, any games, I've, I've, I'll show you. I have a, like I said, I've got a terabyte drive and I have a, uh, a really nice selection of games. I play pretty much everything. Even the ad hoc party, <laughs> which is fun to do with the uh, PSP, Tekken, the arcade cabinets, of course, uh, Dust. I've been a real f big fan. This is probably my first FPS that really hooked me in. Um, I don't know. It's very addictive. You get killed a bunch. It's crazy how much you get killed. This is an awesome game. Jetpack Joyride. And uh, The Storm. It's a good one. Uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah. The game's awesome. And uh, of course Defiance. But we'll go over here to uh, the settings. We'll be in uh, the remote play settings for the PSP. Uh, and here at the very bottom of the list um, you'll have your audio output device now to connect your PSP to your PS3 uh, you have to register your, your device on there which is a very easy process just connect your core go to USB mode uh, go to your system settings you see and scroll down to remote play settings hit register device it'll show PS Vita PSP you can even do, I even have my phone in here and my PC uh, just click on your PSP system your PSP will be registered with the PS3 system uh, connect the PSP system using a USB cable and then select USB connection under the settings on the PSP system. Okay. And uh, after you click on it, it'll register it. And then you can click down on your. Uh, uh, device settings you can have uh, custom settings but you don't really have to use them and uh, you're connected well guys hope you enjoyed it peace out from Texas